I think it's a very good idea to, to break down the surgeries into the various problems that they're designed to treat. And in hip dysplasia, we're usually talking about the, the acetabulum, the socket being a little bit too shallow, or being perhaps not pointed in the right direction. Uh, if it doesn't cover the femoral head enough, if it's a little bit too oblique instead of being over the top of the femoral head, this leads to mechanical problems where the femoral head is pushing too much on the edge of the acetabulum. The other side of the hip joint is the femur. The head of the femur is the other part of the hip. And sometimes the hip socket is okay, but the femur is simply pointing not in a proper direction. So an improperly directed femoral head pointing not in the right direction, or an acetabulum not pointing in the right direction, or too shallow, either of those things or both of those things together can cause major difficulties. And most of the surgical procedures that we do uh, relate to uh, redirecting either the femoral head by cutting the femur and, and pointing the femoral head in a different position and then putting the, the cut pieces back together again with plates and screws until they heal, or really reshaping the socket by usually cutting above it or cutting around it to redirect it uh, within the pelvis. Um, those are the major operations we do.